time for a little power hour. We're going to get this CNC moving quickly. Check it out. Alright, last time we left, this machine was just creeping along, and I gotta be honest here, I've done a little bit of work since the last time I turned the camera on, and that little bit of work centered around these little jumpers here on the CNC shield. I'm gonna try and find where I'm in focus, how about there? So, on our little handy dandy chart here, which just went away because the computer went to sleep, we've got, hang on, these are the jumper configurations. The uh, low means there's no jumper in place, and the high means there is a jumper in place. So for a full step uh, resolution, it's low, low, low. High is a half step, and then a high here is a quarter step. And what that means is uh, these motors have 200 steps per revolution. So to go one revolution, it has to step 200 times. It can divide that in half, in a quarter, by eight, by 16, and with these little doodads, it can divide it by 32, a 32nd of a step. Bottom line here is I have my Z set up as a full step. I have my X set up as a half step and I have my Y set up as a quarter step. So we'll go through these real quick. And that's how fast it's moving. So that's much better than it was. And I can probably make it a little bit faster than that. So then we'll do a Z plus, and that'll bring it back to where it was. So this again is what half step looks like. About half the speed. Now, what I should be able to do is speed us up. So commands, dollar sign five equals 500 enter and then back to our machine control and we'll do X minus and we're back up to the same speed we were before okay now we're at quarter step and we'll just bump it real quick on the Y plus and then Y minus and then we'll double the speed and uh, hit the machine control here Y plus and we should be back now I need to double the length so 40 here and we'll go Y plus and Y minus and there we go so Working as expected, I'm going to sit here and fart around with it for a little bit and find out which one I like the best. Well, I think I've got a winner here. It looks like the full step resolution is giving me the biggest bang for my buck in terms of speed and all that kind of jazz. I may, I may think different of that some other point in time, but for right now that's what I'm going to go with. So um, I'm going to run it through a few more cycles just to make sure it's not binding, then I'm going to get to welding. finish weld here I've got my indicator set up on the part that's traveling here and <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everything was dialed in no pun intended and I don't know if you guys can see it as it goes away but it's not it's not straight perfectly straight so I'm gonna sit here and dink with this thing I've got one end welded and I'm gonna dink with it until it gets dead nuts from end to end.
Well guys, that is it for me for tonight. Unfortunately, this is all the further I got. But you can see it's traveling really well. It's super smooth now. Cleaned out the tracks. Got all the stuff welded on there. You guys saw that. But uh, unbelievable amount of measuring and redoing and measuring and redoing. And uh, that's just the way it goes to make it sweet like it is. Uh, but there we go. And I'm hoping... Uh, I know this is another diversion from where I started over here with the car, but I hope people are getting something out of this. I really just kind of want to pass on what I'm learning. And for me, this project is all about the uh, mental stimulation of what it is we can do with this type of technology. Uh, I've just been going crazy watching videos of guys who are making very interesting things from knives to uh, camera gear to whatever it is and it's just completely opened up my mind to what the possibility might be once I understand how to use this tool. This tool may not be the end-all be-all when it's all said and done. It may need, may need to be a different tool, a better tool, a whatever tool, but this is going to give me the ability to experiment and figure out what I can do. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys got some benefit out of this one and if not uh, got to see some welding anyway. <laughs> Don't let your meat move.